And we're back now with former Secretary of State James Baker, who is in Falfurious, Texas this morning. Mr. Baker, thank you for joining us. You were part of the Reagan administration back when President uh, Reagan vetoed the Anti-Apartheid Act that uh, Randall Robinson uh, discussed here uh, just a minute ago. I, I wanted to ask you, did Ronald Reagan ever come to regret that veto? It was overridden by the Congress and sanctions were put on the uh, South African government. But how did President Reagan feel about that as time went on? Well, I, I'm sure he did regret it, Bob. In fact, uh, I'm certain that he did. Uh, it was, after all, I think the only uh, time that uh, a, a veto of his had been overridden or was overridden in two terms, I believe. And so uh, certainly he regretted it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, once that happened and uh, control of uh, South African policy passed to the Congress, uh, President Reagan was, was really uh, determined to uh, meet with and deal with the question of a, meet with the, the black leaders of uh, South Africa and deal with the problems of apartheid and he was able to do so. Uh, you know, uh, I had the uh, privilege of meeting uh, with Nelson Mandela in, uh, in Namibia on the occasion of Namibian Independence Day, three, just three short weeks after he had been released from prison. And, uh, and I have to tell you that, that I was uh, I was really amazed at the soft-spokenness of this man, at the compassion of this man, at the dignity of this man. He was, he, he had an enduring and endearing uh, presence of dignity that I don't think I've ever seen on any other uh, person. And, and, and I just have always felt that this was an extraordinarily beautiful human being who became, of course, an icon of, of freedom, of human rights, and of reconciliation. Uh, how many people forgive their captors when they've been uh, kept in prison for 27 years? And as, as Maya Angelou said to you earlier in the program, had it not been for Nelson Mandela, and by the way, F.W. de Klerk, uh, there would have been blood flowing in the streets when apartheid ended in South Africa. But because of Nelson Mandela and F.W. de Klerk, apartheid ended peacefully. Now, that was after you became Secretary of State when you met with, uh, with him. And by that time, uh, George H.W. Bush was president. But tell me a little bit about the uh, meeting with uh, F.W. de Klerk. Well, uh, I, I le after I met with Mandela in uh, Windhoek, Namibia, I went to uh, I went to Pretoria, South Africa, to meet with uh, with F. W. De Klerk. First time uh, I had gone to South Africa as Secretary of State, and as a matter of fact, during my meeting with uh, Mandela, he was uh, not happy uh, with the fact that we were going to meet uh, with uh, F. W. De Klerk to. But our, our position was we want to try and work with him constructively to end apartheid. My, Mandela didn't want to see us do that. As it turned out, it, it, it ended up being the right thing to do. Uh, but when I met with F.W. de Klerk in, in Pretoria, uh, at the end of our meeting, he called me into a, a, a room, just the two of us, and he said, Mr. Secretary, I want to tell you something. I am going to be the last white president of South Africa. That was a startling statement at the time, if you think back to 1990. And as it turned out, of course, that was correct. Why do you think it took so long for them to take Nelson Mandela off the uh, terrorist watch list? I mean, they had to get a waiver for him to come into this country. I think he finally wasn't taken off until, what, 2008? Well, I don't know the answer to that, Bob. I really don't. I, I, I don't remember, frankly, uh, all the facts uh, regarding that. He did come. Uh, he came, uh, I thought, before 2008 uh, uh, and made one visit. Uh, oh, he did. But I he know was, this. They had to do a waiver to get him into the country. Uh, well, that's probably correct. I, I do know this. He came to my institute. Uh, the institute that was named for me at uh, Rice University in Houston, Texas, in 1999, and just to give you a sense of the of the of the greatness of this man, uh, a 12-year-old boy asked him after his presentation, "How do you want to be remembered, uh, Mr. Mandela?" Everyone uh, talks about uh, how you're uh, almost a saint, and and uh, Mandela said, "Son," he said, uh, I, "I'm no uh, I'm no saint." 
Uh, I'm not an angel, he said. In fact, I'm no saint unless you uh, uh, consider a saint to be a sinner who keeps on trying. All right. And uh, I thought that was a, a wonderful uh, encapsulation uh, of the person. Well, that's a wonderful way to uh, end this. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. Secretary. Yeah. Th thank you, Bob. Back in a minute.